All right, bringing us in was the 2000s tastic Digi Rap from the Digimon movie. Now, as you can see in front of us today, we have something that's a bit of a blast from the past. That is indeed Digimon trading cards. Um, I don't really have a reason to be doing this. This isn't like a celebration or anything. I just really got in the mood for some Digimon cards because recently I unearthed this, which is my old uh, my old binder of Digimon cards. Now um, I've actually been re-watching Digimon. I've watched the first season, midway through the second season, and and now I've just sort of had a massive nostalgia rush. So I thought, hey, you know what? I want more of these cards. Uh, as you can see, there's like there's a you know difference. There's these are the kind of like anime inspired ones and then there's like uh oh, actually more of them and then there's actually the digimon cards like the ones that had a card game or whatever but anyway so while searching around on ebay i found some of these listed for they were about two pound fifty each and um yeah so i thought you know what today let's open up some digimon cards now those of you with keen eyes may notice this might actually be a pack of fake digimon cards because I don't know, there's something about that printing there that they look a little bit fake. Like, it doesn't look very high quality, as in, like, someone's just printed it, and I don't know about that Bandai logo. Uh, also, new Digimon cards, there's no exclamation mark, so I don't know what that means. Now, I remember these packs being blue when I was a kid. So these are orange. Um... This might be a different series or something, and as you can see on the back, these are pristine, like, you know, the, the glue hasn't come off, these are, they smell old, if that makes sense. Anyway, I've, um, I've bored you enough with the thing, sorry about that, a large tractor came by the house, um, like, past the house, not came by literally our house. Uh, I mean, the printing on the back looks, like, official and, and everything, uh, and I believe, ah, there we are, so this pack contains a random assortment of... Eight Digimon trading cards, numbered 1 to 32, as well as one hol holographic card, number 1 to 32. Ah, no. Actually, give me two seconds. So, these are going to be from this set, because as we look on the back here, you'll see everything... Oh, everything's out of 34. That's a bit weird. Okay, then, I don't know what these are going to be. Well, hey, you know, this is a voyage of discovery for everyone, so I want to, like, keep one of the packs in quite nice condition. And let's just jump in. Let's see what we get. Hopefully the holographic isn't the first one you get, because I hate when cards cards do that. They're like, hey, here's the special one. Uh, oh, okay. So this is Series 2, apparently, and there's a checklist. We won't be looking at that, though. Okay, cool. It's not the... Um, it's not the hollow. Actually, these do look real. I I may be <laughs> I may have been very pessimistic there. I think these are actually. So we begin with Phantomon, uh, one of the coolest design Digimon's from Series One, I think. Um, and yeah, on the back it gives you a bit of information of the like episodes. Man, these are in really good condition, obviously because they're pack fresh. That's fantastic. Okay, so uh, next we have Mammothmon. Imagine, you know, imaginatively named uh, card there. Ooh, uh, hang on. We have... Oh, okay. Wow, so that's... Um, Crash Street Battle. This is uh, Garudamon versus Mammothmon. So, Garudamon obviously is the ultimate form of... Um, Biomon? Turns into Birdramon, I think. Okay, the next one is... Backwards? Is this a hollow? No. Oh, okay. Cool. We got Demi Vimon. That's very nice. Now, from the viewfinder, the colours look quite washed out, but in person, these are very, like, you know, deep colours and stuff. These do genuinely look like the real cards. Not that these cards are particularly rare or, like, worth anything, but, you know, it's nice to have the real deal, really. Ah, we have Flymon, who, all this to me, looked like a bee, so I don't know why they called it Flymon, but whatever. So this should... No, oh, no, hang on, the one after it. Oh, hang on, well, we kind of... Uh, hang on, so that is uh, Dokugamon, which is a champion Digimon, um, which is like a spidery thing. 
And that's the information there. And I believe our holographic, yay, is Nannymon. Nanny? Um, well, I mean, hey, there are worse ones. Oh, Jesus. I thought for a second Nannymon was number 69. You know, I was like, that's it's too much of me. I'm, I'm not open for that. Um, yeah, Nannymon, I believe, like, trained them or something. Uh, trained the Digidestin. I can't quite remember, to be honest. So yeah, that was actually not bad, and that's the like list of things there. Okay, well, we've got four more to get through. Uh, hopefully the rest will go a little bit quicker. But, you know, uh, let me know in the comments if you also like Digimon. It's kind of a series that I'd always liked, but never really got into because uh, I live in the UK, which means that if I wanted to watch the entire series, I'd have had to have bought them on DVD, uh, on VHS till about two years ago when they finally put her on DVD which was an absolute godsend. Ooh, okay yeah! Right, we've got uh, Mega Kabuterimon who is the Digimon of uh, my favourite guy, Izzy uh, versus Vedamon Oh man, this is such a great episode where um, Izzy kind of like went into Vedamon's weird like thought dimension or whatever not because it's a thought dimension which is a completely different thing ah oh, we got metal greymon versus etamon yo like i don't know just the artwork and stuff genuinely quite pleased i bought these now i was expecting some really low quality kind of like shitty cards but no these are quite nice and very nostalgic we have zudamon oh yeah with the uh second best guy um can't remember his name, I'll put it in the bottom there, the sort of guy that became a doctor in season two. Uh, we have him again, which is just nice. I'm I'm putting it off screen because we get the back of the hollow card, I think. Ooh, nice! Okay, we got uh, Myotismon, who was like the villain for the first... No, it is the part where the um, Digimon invade like the real world and stuff. Oh man, just the art of these cards, like... I'm so happy that I didn't waste my £10. Ah, Tyrannomon, which is a Digimon that can digivolve from Agumon, I believe. Uh, I keep forgetting that whenever I play a Digimon game. Ooh, yo! Okay, that's a cool looking hollow, which is a Wegarurumon versus Myotismon. Man, that's a lot funkier than the other one. Like, are the backgrounds this. The backgrounds aren't usually this colourful, surely. Like,. The other, like, cards with it, well, they're kind of colourful, I suppose, but man, that's really shiny and really nice looking. Okay, cool, well, okay, that, that's a bit of a, um, it's a bit of a better hollow than Nannymon. You know, no offence to all the Nannymon fans out there, which are probably in the same group as all the Voldo fans from uh, Soul Calibur, but hey, look, who's judging? Me. So now, oh, didn't open this very well. Okay, let's tear this one open then. Uh, is that a checklist of the last one? I think it's the same card every time. Oh yeah, it's just the checklist is the other way round. Man, the quality control on these cards was not amazing. Is this Skull Marimon? Yay, there we are. Merimon. Sorry, not Merimon, not Marimon. Um, yeah, this is like those flame things uh, when they did evolve into Ultimate. Uh, next up is... Ooh, nice! Zudamon versus Seedramon. Uh, Mega Seedramon, sorry, actually. Because, um, that was one of the Dark Masters, I believe. Nice, we got Mega Kabuterimon again. Oh man, if I could get this hollow. Ah, oh, Gatomon! Who is a champion Digimon? And I've never really been able to work that out. Also on the back, I'm sure it... Ah, oh, there we are. Gatomon speaking to Demi Vmon there. Ah, Vegemon, champion uh, Digimon, turns into the red one, and I can't remember its name. These are all the correct way round. What's happening then? The other two packs are like half and half. We have um, Kari Kamiya, who is Tai's little brother, and the, spoilers, secret seventh Digidestin, or eighth, I can't remember. And the hollow is a Mammothmon. Okay, let's go. Cool. Can we end on a really kick-ass hollow? Let's see. Um, yeah, there's 32 cards. I imagine, like, 
I've got a fair amount of this set now, which is great because I can add it to my folder and then show it to all of my friends that like Digimon. So just myself, really. Um, right, let's crack it open and see. Okay, I can see the checklist. It's the correct way around this time. I mean, I'm not ruling out these could still be fake, but they feel very um, plasticky, which is, you know, fine. Ah, Garudamon, there we are, we have Garudamon on its own, or her own, his own, I don't know. We have another Zudamon versus uh, Mega Seedramon there. Also, I forgot to show the back, but oh, <laughs> that's the same image. They could have got a different still from the same episode, and of course that's the... Ah, oh, number 31 or 32, that's cool. Uh, ooh, okay, Metal Greymon versus Davidramon. Ah, oh, right, yes, um... Yeah, now, Davidramon is what Devimon digivolves into, I think. Um, the Digimon Emperor in Season 2 rides around on his back a lot. I'll, I'll put her off camera again, so we're going to get the hollow otherwise. Uh, we've got Nannymon again, please don't be another hollow Nannymon. We've got Okuamon again. We have... Ooh! Yo! Wizardmon! Ah! Okay, hands down, one of my favourite Digimon. Like, I know he's his own character, if that makes sense. Like, you can't... You know, no one has a Wizardmon, and he is champion, yeah. But, you know, he was Gatomon's friend, and the operative word being was... Ah! <laughs> ah, that's really cute, actually, because our, uh, we end on a hollow Gatomon. So there we are, see... They're together forever. Remember Digimon? They're back in card form.